In this astonishing poem that I will read now, he speaks for all of us around the world who've been struck by the pain and glory of being alive. And he wrote this piece in 1948. On Living by Nazim Hikmet. Sorry. Life's no joke. You must live it in earnest, like a squirrel, for example. Expecting nothing outside your life or beyond. You must concentrate wholly on living. You must take living seriously. So much so that your back to the wall, your arms bound behind, or in a laboratory, in your white coat and big goggles, you can die for mankind, even for people whose faces you've never seen. Even when nobody forces you, even though you know the best thing, the most real, is to live. You'll take living seriously, that even at 70, you'll plant olive trees, not just to leave to your children, but because although you fear death, you don't believe in it. So great is the power of life. Say we're ill enough for a major operation. I mean, perhaps we won't ever get up from the white table. If we have to feel sorry for leaving a little early, we can still laugh at Nazreddin Hodgut jokes and look from the window to see if it rains, or hang around restless for the latest news. Say we're fighting for something worthwhile, at the front, for example. At the first assault, the first day, we might fall face down and die. We'll feel a strange anger, and not knowing the end of the war, which could last for years, will still drive us mad. Say we're in prison, our age almost 50, 18 years till they open the iron door. But we must still live with the world outside, with its people and animals, its quarrels, its wind, the world beyond the wall. But wherever, however we are, we must live as though we will never die. This world will grow cold, a star among stars, one of the smallest, this great world of ours, a gilded note on blue velvet. This world will grow cold one day, not even as a heap of ice or a lifeless cloud. It will roll like an empty walnut, round and round, in pitch darkness forever. For now you must feel this pain and endure the sadness, but so love this world that you can say, I have lived. No. Now, if that's not something to bring us together, I don't know what is. Life in all its simplicity and complexity is, is here to be lived. And Nazim tells us that in no uncertain words. And solidarity was one of the pillars of both his life and his art. This evening is about solidarity too, about some truly phenomenal artists coming together with all of you to show solidarity with the survivors in Turkey and Syria. So let's dig deep into our pockets and offer our support in any way we can. There are 5,000 of us here, a huge crowd indeed, but a drop in the ocean when you consider the scale of the suffering and devastation faced in Turkey and Syria.